Mark. This is my journey through tarot. So today it's going to be Kim Jong Un. What's happened to him? Who is this guy that we see in the news right now? Is that him? Um, Kim Jong Un, you know, North Korea. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is going to be Kim Jong Un. He's in the news right now. Um, he had disappeared for a while. <clears throat> the fellow that I see, uh, I guess it looks like him, but I mean, I would just wonder has he gained weight, changed size? I don't know. He looks slightly different to me. So um, we're going to use the Golden Universal Tarot as kind of backup cards if we need them. But the main event here is the Heaven and Earth Tarot. I've been trying to use these for a couple of um, days here and haven't found the right time. They're kind of muted cards, but they've got a little um, hits of bold uh, color in there that, that makes them stand out from time to time. So I like these cards a lot, really. And um, come in a great box. Cards are a little uh, flimsy, kind of, but they're... Uh, they're all good. So we'll put this guy right here. Now I'm going to put this Golden Universal Tarot also off to the side. Okay, so we'll give a look at them again. I think it's been a while since I've used them, but they're kind of muted. Uh, real uh, old world kind of style cards. And um, so I don't know. It just seemed like that place is stuck in some kind of old world. So that would be a good idea for these cards. Okay, so we'll scoop these all up, get in the business. I was quiet for a minute there because I thought I heard somebody calling me, but I guess not. And uh, here we go, we'll get these shuffled up a bit. Kim Jong Un, Kim Jong Un, what's going on with him? Um, kind of a threat to us recently. Kim Jong Un, is that really you? Is that really Kim Jong Un? And if it is, whatever else uh, we can learn. Princess of Swords. Interesting, the sister. High Priestess. Huh. So is that really you, Kim Jong-un? Or is that someone pretending to be you? That's scary. So. Shuffle cards up. Just a few times, get them loose. Let's see what kind of a story we get for Kim Jong Un. You know, he's a second child. He's not the first child. He was the second child. And uh, supreme leader and all sorts of crazy titles. They think maybe he, uh, or pretty sure actually, that he uh, schooled in Switzerland under an assumed name. And uh, so there's a whole, as a matter of fact, they think that he's actually two years younger than his actual birth date because those two years earlier uh, seem to make a um, historic significance in the legend of his grandfather and his father's length of rule I think somehow I don't know but um wiki it that's what I did and you can find out so Kim Jong Un is that you is that you is that you okay we're gonna take six cards right off the top one two three, four, five, and six. I could just be crazy, probably in the end. But anyway, we'll ask the question. Kim Jong Un, is that you? Signifier card is the Knight of Pentacles. Well, so the Knight of Pentacles, this is, uh, Pentacles are like of the earth, you know, true value. I mean, the real deal. And, um, and also actual uh, worth. A knight is uh, ready to um, fight for that. Uh, uh, he's at the, at the point in the uh, royal uh, cadre of characters that we have here that he's ready to fight for uh, his value. And uh, he seems like a fellow who's steadfast and with just a little uh, red over here, to, a little fire to get him going, almost an angel in the sky above him. So that's a pretty strong signifier. Um, but wouldn't Kim Jong-un be something more than a knight? So we've got a knight of pentacles. The uh, challenge to that is um, the Ace of Wands. 
you know, we know that wands are uh, forward movement, uh, ideas, planning, uh, fire, get something going. And the ace of wands is like, bam, right in your face. So this is a great big, um, great big offer of getting this idea going is what challenges this knight of pentacles. I wonder if this is an imposter and uh, if this is the truth. So the base of this reading is then <laughs> the ten of swords. So the Ten of Swords, this fella is just, you know, done. He's been he's been stabbed to death. And the, the, they even call this card Ruin. So this is an end of a cycle. I mean, this is the definite end of uh, a period. Uh, that's, that's, that's that. Number 10, stabbed to death. That's the end of it. In the past, we've got, uh, what do we have here? The Five of Pentacles? Well, the Five of Pentacles. And what do they like to call it? Material trouble. So the Five of Pentacles is just, you know, out in the cold, um, there's help inside. I mean, there's light uh, to be had here, but um, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be uh, taken. And so this is a pretty serious reading. The end here, in the past we had uh, a light. Could the light have been the imposter? And, wow, what's in the sky for this reading? Uh, this is going to be the Knight of Cups. Uh, cups are emotion, uh, passion. Uh, this is a very thoughtful night, as a matter of fact. Uh, taking a ride along the beach in this beautiful white steed. And, um, yeah, Scarab Beetle here. This knight has got a big message of compassion to go with this. Let's see what's the final outcome. The final outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, hey, is that the sister? Um, you know, the Queen of Earth, Queen of Strength, Power. Um, she's got a, a, a staff in her hand. She's a very calm but determined uh, young queen. Huh, that's interesting. Well, let's see, what is the self right now? of Kim Jong-un. Hmm. I'll we'll take these one at a time. Temperance. Temperance. So this is this is um this is a major arcana and this is really uh, keeping things in balance. I mean that's what temperance is all about. One foot on the land, one foot in the water, and really being able to keep this going in the environment of what? In the environment of hmm princess of cups it's going to be the weakest of the uh, of the court cards a princess of emotion so there's a so temperance here in the environment of just a little bit of of passion a little bit of emotion a little bit of uh, caring here huh and then the um hopes and fears for this then is a princess of swords so the hopes i think is that uh, the sister is carrying out some kind of thing here <laughs> with an imposter uh, as uh, kim jong un so what's the uh, final outcome of this thing? That's going to be, wow, eight of wands. Okay, so eight is a lot of stuff coming at you at the same time. They've even called this card swiftness, um, and this is a dark scenario. So the final outcome of this is not anything that's good uh, along the lines of is this Kim Jong-un. So that's where I'm at. Jeez, I don't know. I mean... It started out with a knight who looks like maybe he's an imposter for Kim Jong-un. And um, then we got down to the uh, sister uh, as the uh, likely outcome in the first part of the Celtic Cross as the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, when we uh, further, in the hopes of the fears, uh, I think the sister pops up again here as a princess of swords. And then the whole thing ends with just a mess of, of the plans going awry or a lot of issues coming at it at the same time. So... Not a good read for Kim Jong Un. Well, I'm Mark. This is My Journey Through Tarot. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And if you're not doing anything tomorrow, stop by. I'll be going somewhere and you can come too. Ciao for now.